So you're gonna come to Kushan Family Five. Five. You're gonna get five chefs, five pigs, five winemakers in a friendly competition for a cause. What they are talking about is heritage breed pigs from family farms. You're gonna enter the door. You're gonna walk into a welcome lounge. Punches, welcome bites, people talking. We did away with registration. Once you're inside, you're going to get bacon, artisan cheeses, beautiful wines, Manhattan bar, punch king so you can go have punches from amazing bartenders. We have a mini competition inside the competition. We're here looking for the best bite of the day. Kushan 555 is about flavor. Farmer to chef, chef to customer. It's ultimately our responsibility, the chefs and the farmers, to educate the guests how to eat better. The food's great, the chefs are hugely talented, and they're all throwing down their best stuff. Each chef gets seven to 10 days to cook that whole animal. They show up, they can do up to six dishes, present to 20 judges and over 450 guests. What they're looking to do is win with the best bite of the day. On the local Cochon Five Fives, they're going for the Prince or Princess of Pork. If they win, they go to Grand Cochon. What they win there is the national title, and they can either be the King or Queen of Pork for the year. We're cooking a nice large black pig from Triple S. Breaking it down, a 200 pound pig, roughly getting about 1,800 portions out of it. Heritage pigs are magical. It has a deeper, richer flavor. The meat tends not to be the other white meat. It's completely different than working with commodity pork. They've got flavor, they've got definition. They really showcase not only the terroir where they're grown, but also the feed in which they're fed. People are so used to commodity pork. Like when a pork chop hits the table sometimes at the restaurant and they see that beautiful layer of fat and the deep dark red color of the meat, it freaks people out because they're so not used to it. Every pig is different, every farm is different, every farmer is different. Being able to support a lot of small local farmers who are raising heritage breeds is really important to me. We look at the animal together whenever he brings them in. He talks to me a lot about the farm and how they're raised and what they're eating and just to be able to share that experience and that conversation with the staff and the guests, I think just makes everybody feel so much more connected. Source-driven chefs, farmers who are raising animals with purpose and passion, and heritage breed species. There's this connection right now of like everyone wanting to know where their food comes from, and it starts with the dinner table. This tour and the conversation is all about readjusting what we think is important or what we know is right from the cheesemakers to the farmers right now. That's why it's so important because you guys are doing what you feel is absolutely right because that's what you want to feed your family and that's what we should be learning from. Not just celebrating pork but really celebrating the farmer and celebrating you know how we get food from the farmer to the restaurant to the grocery store, to our homes. They want to show off what they're good at, you know, and friendly competition with their, their peers in whatever city that they're in. That just means that the level of food is always a little bit higher than if you were just at a standard event. 450 portions of six things from one animal. It's insane. I think this event stands for a lot that's really important for this industry. I think that it's, it's really meaningful and it's gonna affect the way that food is viewed and tasted and cooked in the future. It's amazing. This is awesome. Porkalicious, one word. It's just all really about awareness and education. So from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave, you're here for a reason. You guys ready? Yeah! Heading to Grand Cushon, taking home all the goodies on stage, goes to